Welcome to a podcast filled with inspiration and education, an empowerment podcast to make you more self-sufficient. Welcome to From the Hood to the Woods podcast. Your hosts, Robbie and Tay, are here to entertain with great singing and acting, as well as educate on everything you need to live a life filled with purpose. From the Hood to the Woods podcast, going live in three, two. All right, y'all, all right, y'all. Welcome back in to From the Hood to the Wood podcast. I'm your host, Robbie. And I'm Tay. Yeah, and we back, y'all. So today, today, today is another day. It is. <laughs> and it's raining outside, so yeah. we're on the porch, but we still got the background. We're still in the woods, baby. We're still yeah. in the woods, baby. We're going to make it happen, <laughs> Captain. I promise you. Yes. What are we talking about today, mister? Bring you, us in. You got the notes. I done, I, <laughs> listen, I brought us in with the, how you doing? We here. Oh, my God. Howdy doody. <laughs> so today, y'all, we're going to be covering more of just like um, technology yeah. changes in our social structure yeah. that are coming about. Yeah. Um, just want to talk about it, bring it up, you know, because it's really important. And if y'all haven't realized, yeah. um, technology has been moving fast yeah. super fast yeah. um i remember when i was younger we were using those little floppy disk things yep. and then they went into the stick the little thumb this drive big. thing yeah. this was this big. they were so big and then they went to the little tiny little disk hey, the we, smaller one we just told our kids about dial up yeah <laughs> yeah the aol dial up do y'all remember that when we used to get the little free trials? The free trials and nobody ever really bought it. And if you did, it was the kid that got your parents' credit card or checkbook. Hey, let me tell you something. If my mama watching this, mama, I owe you some money. Because <laughs> when I was young, I was addicted. And I was like, mama was teaching me about checkbooks and stuff like that. I knew it, the little bottom numbers on the bottom of the checkbook, man. Yeah. yeah. And my mama was like, I will charge my account. I was like, I don't know, mama. That's I don't crazy. Know. That's crazy. Hey, but, I love you, mama. But before we get into this, I want y'all to know, like, we're just um, softly bringing you guys in. So maybe, the, like, two more episodes from here, it's going to get a little Yeah, we're hard, saving hard. our controversial <laughs> topics. Um, yeah, because there's some crazy stuff going on, y'all. Yeah. And yeah. we basically like starting all over because uh, yeah. when we first started, me and Rob was just talking about it. Yeah. When we first started on YouTube, yeah. we were traveling yeah. and everybody wanted to see that. We had like literally thousands of views on yeah. our traveling videos in Tanzania and stuff. Yeah. But then when we said, hey, we can't do that like that and switch our goals, did more of the farming stuff. People weren't interested in that. Yeah. So it's like we got to start all over. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So we're done with that. We ain't talking about us no more. Nope. Okay, so the biggest thing that I want to talk about, y'all, is the 2030 Agenda. Mm. I lightly talked on it um, our first episode. Y'all keep talking about 2030. That thing is 22 day. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they are moving, y'all. They are yes. not playing with it. So for those who don't know, the 2030 agenda is like a global agenda. Mm -hmm. Let me see. It's the uh, their goals are to end poverty, mm -hmm. end world hunger, mm -hmm. ensure women's rights, mm -hmm. and all of these extra things. Save mm -hmm. the world and create better what energy. To, what happened and to saving the whales? Can we save the whales? <laughs> Hey, the world's not having it. The world's been out of here. <laughs> They've been on the beach. If y'all haven't looked it up, y'all, there's been a lot of um, massive animal die-outs. Yeah. Uh, y'all, like we say, we're not like fear monger or nope. nothing like that. We just want people to pay attention because it's so easy to get caught up in these entertainment bubbles. Like, oh, I just want to listen to music. Yep. Oh, I just want to watch videos, you yep. know, and not pay attention to what's really going the on. The Matrix. Oh my goodness. We'll talk about that too. We watched the video <laughs> on how just like um we get caught up, like she said, in the circus, in the matrix, mm -hmm. in the, the rat race. In the rat race, in the Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. set these things up or when things were going on across seas, they were too busy talking about Trump. Mm -hmm. And if you would have paid attention, it was talking about things going on with the war and stuff like mm -hmm. that that we really should have been paying attention to. Mm -hmm. But Trump was on every news station. so Right. 
So, if you don't know, uh, the people who created this 2030 agenda mm -hmm. are part of the World Economic Forum. Mm -hmm. um, it's a bunch of world leaders that are not elected by anybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what really trips me out, y'all. Like, mm -hmm. nobody elected these people. They just decided, okay, we got the money. We putting this stuff mm -hmm. together. And y'all need to do what we say because... Mm -hmm. X, Y, Z. They got all of these reasons why mm -hmm. we need to do what they say. And most of these big places like that, the world and the humane and all these are, mm -hmm. are big people, big oil money that just wanted to really make sure that they could win and look like it was for us. But yeah. Yeah, it's really not. And um, they're the ones who are pushing all of the uh, mandates mm -hmm. and different things. And I'm not sure if y'all are aware, but... Mm -hmm. America is part of uh, North America. Let me not say that because people in mm -hmm. South America still do get offended, y'all. And we just say America like yeah. it's just us oh, and yeah. it's really not. Which we, we've been programmed to just say that and yeah. think like that without even really thinking about it, yeah. you know. Um, but anyway, in North America, we are already, like we passed laws already that whatever the UN says is automatically law here. Mm -hmm. So anything that they say, anything that they change, and actually they're supposed to be having another one of these mm -hmm. meetings like this week mm -hmm. to determine like what we're supposed to be doing, what mm -hmm. we're supposed to be changing. Now, the reason why we're bringing this up is because they're moving at the speed of light. Yeah. And most people don't even know what's going on. Like I keep telling you, it says 2030 agenda. Mm -hmm. But like Robbie said, they're already pushing this stuff like with digital IDs and things like that. Um, people don't even realize it, but most of our transactions are digital. Anyway. We're, yeah, we're yeah. already using like Cash App mm -hmm. and Venmo, Venmo and yeah. Zelle and all of these different things. And even if you have a bank, your bank has an app. Yep. Um, and like we brought up uh, last time, we were talking about the Fed now. That's yeah. a, that's going to be a government yeah. version of yeah. all of these different um, yeah. apps, which mm -hmm. they're going to tell you, hey, you already been doing it. It's mm -hmm. okay. Just Just do it. You know, but in our reality, mm -hmm. it is part of this 2030 agenda. And is there like a new global coin that they just put out? They're talking, of, I think it was World, World coin. coin. Yeah. They have over a million and a half subscribers, over 50,000 um, people that use it every day, over 60,000 transactions every day, and over a hundred and something countries codes that use it every day yeah yeah every day so that's why i say like when we learn about stuff we're already yeah. kind of behind y'all yep we're already behind yep. so um <laughs> these changes yeah. like well, like we asked before like what does it mean for the hood what does it mean for the woods mm -hmm. like um for those who know about the Bible verses, like about being able to buy and sell and mm -hmm. all of that, it's really starting to ring bells with a lot of um, Bible prophecy, a lot of pastors ringing the bell on it, um, because they're saying that these digital currencies ran by the government will mm -hmm. be connected to your social media, uh, connected to your health, connected to everything that... Y'all heard that? Okay, sorry. <laughs> but they're going to be connected to your everything. Yeah. So basically, yeah. um, if you don't do what we say, like if you post on YouTube, Diggers and Adventures, y'all yeah. think y'all so smart and okay. all good looking and all powerful and stuff, y'all post over there and y'all <laughs> say something that we don't like. Hey, bro, we recorded. <laughs> Get from over here. You won't Stupid. be able to buy anything. You won't be able to travel. Mm hmm and this is not just here, y'all. Y'all nope. think it's already started in mm -hmm. China, y'all. Yep. Look it up. <laughs> Look it up. <laughs> oh, no! Stupid. Really Anyways. <laughs> In China, if you guys look it up, it's um, a journalist that's really going through it right now. He was speaking out about some stuff. He can't travel. You can't buy land, real estate. You can't go on different things. It is like hard. His kids, your children, your children can't, can't go get to into college. school. Yeah. Thank you so much for tuning into From the Hood to the Woods podcast. Join us on Rumble at From the Hood to the Woods so that you can leave us a comment. Thank you again. See you all next week.